So our first game of the day is Ignited Steel Mech Tactics. It's called itself a turn-based roguelite mech tactics game. So I'm very curious because I've never played it before. And the artwork looks interesting and the actual Steam page looks kind of cool too. So let's get our mech tactics going on. Incoming transmission. Always a good sign. Soldier report. Ma'am, it's worse than we thought. Oh, he's an assault pilot. Our own machines are turning against us. It's the rise of the machine. It's... Oh, it's Skynet. Not just comedy, but absolutely everything. Anything built in recent years has gone haywire. Imagine being killed by a toaster. So this is what they meant. Ma'am, we've just received a transmission. The Humanix... Humanix... Ugh. Corporation declared martial law. Of course the corporation declared martial law. They have a, used an AI called Pharos to burn our own weapons against us. Oh, turn. How are we supposed to fight against them? We are doomed. Okay, skip, 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 skip. Got some very good music. Place your units. So we've got. We've got our commander. Move camera, where's rotate is Q and E. Okay. Start. Oh! Got a very interesting art style. All of your actions have a cost and action points. At the bottom part of the screen, you can see all your remaining action points. Your turn plan can be executed once you press the execute button. Oh, I see. So it's kind of a simultaneous turn based game. Simultaneous turn-based games are you plan out your moves and everything happens at the same time. Okay, execute. Oh, look at that shotgun! That actually sounds real good. Okay. Okay. As you use your weapons, your mechs increase its heat level, so it's very mech warrior tactics going on as well. And the overheated state, your attacks become much stronger but you receive damage. Oh, I see. So overheated, you can burn the enemy but you burn yourself. Alright. I see, it slowly cools down as time goes by. Okay. Now what? Cooling. So I have like three or so action points by the looks of it. There we go. Cool down, my mechanoid warrior. Okay. Into attack mode. Change selection module. Okay. Go to propulsion gauntlet. Allows me to jump. Really? And I'd like to, let's see, get there. Let's execute that. Oh! Oh my god! That is true. Tile-based games, music is usually super important for this kind of thing because obviously what you've got going on is a lot of... Well, not a lot going on, really. Most turn-based stuff, what you've got is you watching your units maybe bobbing up and down, but there'll be a lot of downtime and actual combat and movement. So music and sounds are insanely important for turn-based. Absolutely insanely important. Support equipment. A bu combustion flamethrower. So there's combat, there's level upgrades, and there's a roguelite progression system where you go through an FTL-style thing as well. Primary weapon support equipment core, okay? Propulsion corners. I'd like to have a flamethrower instead because I'm a pyromaniac. Uh. And let's go. Enemies. There's a bounty of a missile launcher here. Of course there is. Ooh. There is four targets. This is very different. There are four types of missions. Destroy, extract, defend, destroy. Okay. So I'm obviously going to start with some basic stuff as I start building it up. Are they civilians? Uh... Lord Drago. Okay, let's execute with burning and then move. 
When an enemy heats reaches maximum energy, when the enemy heat reaches maximum, the enemy overheats. That this turn it's this turns its hay I can't read. This turns its AI haywire and causes a special effect, which is different on each enemy. I see, so it has different effects depending on what it is. Your main weapon can increase the enemy's heat. The higher the heat, the higher the damage I will receive per attack. So when I overheat, I become more powerful. When they overheat, they do random things. Okay, oh no, I'm going to have to cross a burning field of death. Okay. I love the mech designs. This actually looks really kind of cool. Oh! 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 Okay, I need to engage that. How do I hit that without being hit myself? I can't, I think. Alright, move up to... Yeah, I know. I can read. Okay, we're going to have to keep moving. Two down. Mobilising. Didn't I set this city on fire? Oh, I definitely should have kept the gauntlet, but it told me to use the flamethrower because, of course, when you're doing tutorials, you must do things you don't like the idea of. Which is a shame, but there you are. Okay, cool down. Yeah, the designs of these mechs are really interesting. I haven't seen any style like this before now I think about it. I haven't seen any design like this at all. Alright, let's, uh... Two, change to that flame. Throw. Okay, move forward. Burn. Welcome to the forward. For those who are wondering, I am streaming this. If it makes it to YouTube, I'm streaming this. If not, I'm also making videos. We'll see. Burn, baby. Burn. Another one bites to dust. I'm overheating. The design, how it moves, is very interesting. Mostly they either walk normally or crab-like. This thing is a weird mix in between. I like it. I like it a lot. Very interesting. So, plenty of turns to do stuff. Let's, let's boot this down. Alpha is Alpha! Okay, income is... There is income. Good. Oh, buildings! Destroying... <laughs> I get... Let's lose money for destroying buildings. Okay. My bounty is the Firemonger. So now I have Fire Flamethrower and Fire Missile Launcher? And now I have a choice. Congratulations, you completed your first combat mission. Now continue exploring the star map to discover new planets. So yeah, as you can see, it's very much following the whole... There's an end point, because obviously this is just a um, an alpha test. But this is interesting. Hang on. So now we can go for Firemonger, which does less damage, but does, uses more power, but does more fire. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go full on Burny Burn Burn. Okay. We have this unknown, this unknown. The ship is entered an asteroid field. The crew can see the remains of a mining station. Oh, there's events. And now we can buy stuff. Very FTL-like. So I can, let's see, repair myself, get better legs, support engine WR1 space warper. Shrapnel machine gun. Reach 8,000 heat points in total during the next battle gives me 15, 1,600. Ready from destroying any targets. Use the support equipment 10 times during the next battle. Oh, look at that. I like this. Bounties. Partially repair. Uh, I don't really want that. Let's uh, sell. I kind of want the propulsion gauntlet. We'll keep moving. Oh! I now have access to two other random peasants who just came out of nowhere. 
Now that you have three units, you have to execute actions one by one before ending the turn. Okay? I get it. Looks like I might be able to have up to five. Oh, look how varied they are. The designs are really cool. Now, that one's hovering. That one's got a massive defensive shield and wheels. So, what are your options? Emergency drone heals and a projectile rifle. Okay. You move forward one. Fire. There. Then carry on moving. Execute. Eh. A bit. A bit meh. You're going to... Let's see. What have you got? You have MX Missile Launcher and Space Warper. Okay. Move two to here. Then, let's see. Fire twice. Then move that way. Very interesting. Very interesting. I'm actually enjoying this a lot more than I thought I would. It reminds me a little bit of that... Uh... What was that mechs versus kaijus game? That micro RTS. Okay, move up. Okay, you're going to straight up just move. Very interesting. Animations on the weapons could definitely be upgraded a little bit. The movement, though. The movement looks amazing. You've leveled up to level 2. Select. Long shot sniper cannon. Yeah, sure. Okay, I want you to have the long shot. Actually, projectile rifle is already what you've got. Let's just give you a rocket launcher too. Everyone gets rocket launchers. I'm feeling happy. Reach the extraction point. Defend the generators. Let's do an escapey scapey. Weapon support. Yes. And have a look see. Okay. So what we got? Hovercraft? Or are they flying vehicles? Are they hovercraft or air fighters? And that that's either a heavy tank or an artillery piece in the background. I know. Okay, push two here. Hit that. And push up. Okay, move to there. Fire. Move up. Okay, move here. Pull back to here. Yeah, the actual combat animation is a little bit too fast. Apart from that, though, it's pretty. Oh my god! Pretty good! Oh! Oh! What is that? Down. Oh, that's overheating. Oh no, it's supercharged. Okay, that's three of them down. Another one spawning. Big guys left. We need to leave. That's the shotgun. Mobile. Oh my god. Really? Don't die. Don't explode. 
This game is pretty awesome. I do love the different designs, though. Like one flies, one drives. Okay. to ram people. It seems very much a waste. Well, who am I to judge? I guess I don't fly. It's a shame you can't move all your vehicles and units at once. I'd very much like that to be a thing. I'd love to be able to move an entire force in one go. So I guess it's not really simultaneous turn-based. Which is a bit of a shame, but there we are. Oh, he's coming with me. They're stealing an enemy vehicle. Great. Yeah, the walkie I definitely like a lot. Driving. Eh, I've seen better. It reminds me a little bit of Xeno Squad now I think about it. Okay, you've leveled up. You've leveled up. You both healed. You've gained access to the Ice Piercer and the Alloy Grenade Launcher. A thousand damage! Ice Piercer. Hmm. Do I call down my troops or but I'm gonna just get a grenade launcher. Sod it. Destroy the generators gives me two cores and a lot more troops. Well, let's just go to the end. Place your units. How do I do this? I didn't put the grenade launcher in. Okay, moving. What have we got? Oh, they actually have mechs. Assault biped. Deals damage to the circular area if it overheats. This one roots adjacent units? Huh. Yeah, the combat is a bit too fast. It's a bit of a shame. I don't think you can slow it down. I'm on the slowest speed. What's he doing? This seems quite powerful. There's a charge up. Never a good sign there's a charge up, I'll be honest. Whenever you see a charge up on a unit, that's a big problem. Okay, I've overheated. Yeah, I know. Move to here. I have never been good at keeping my mechs cooled down. Now I think about it. Never been going to keep my mechs cooled down in any games I play which involve them. One big thing I need to do is keep my units healed as much as possible. Because obviously, health is permanent. That is... Hmm. Cool you down. Okay, 
do need to cool down twice and shoot that. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm learning. I'm learning the ways of war. Kaiju Panic, the thing I'm thinking of. Yeah, it was Kaiju Panic, I think. Kaiju Chaos? I'm trying to kill my main character. I think not a main character. Starjackal, welcome to this game. Something Mech Tactics. Also, how have you been? It's been a while. Ooh. Titanium Engine X1. More health. More heat power. Better heat efficiency. I'll take that. Engine C3. Ooh. Less health, but better heat efficiency. Mmm. Let's grab this. Go to here. And we're going to finish. And see this game. Because this is just Sector 1. So it should be, hopefully, a boss. Um, what have we got? Projectile rifle, shrapnel machine gun, fire monger, alloy grenade launcher, and kinetic punch. I can punch people. Okay, I don't want to buy anything. Let's check my hangar out. Okay, so you're going to change your fire monger for the alloy grenade launcher. And you're going to get your... This is going to become... Oh. The Titanium X1. There we go. So you're now more powerful. You are going to have the MX Emergency Drone, which heals people. I keep forgetting. I'm actually... And you're going to get the Titanium Engine X1 too. Sure, why not? And you're the guy to escape. So this is the final mission of this little demo, I think. Let's go. I do like how the weaponry changes. I do not like games where customising your characters or units does not change how they look. Oh my god, look at the size of that. Holy crap. Yeah, the actual combat should definitely slow down a teeny bit, or at least not end so suddenly. The end where it pulls back to your units is a little bit jarring. Shay, I was expecting some kind of boss. Now, the overheat mechanic, we haven't seen much of it. My units are, of course, overheated, but the enemy forces have not really overheated that much, which is a bit of a shame, but what can you do? What can you do? Ow. I do like the fact they're all different terrains. Right now I've only seen arid or frozen, so more or less heat. But it does mean they're going to try and do more styles in the future. Okay, if I hit the city, I'm going to do a lot of damage. They do not want me to blow up the city, which is weird, because, you know, that seems like a thing I should be doing. Okay, so I blow up the city, I'm going to lose money. I thought you'd blown up chunks of the city now, I think about it, yeah. play this. This demo is available on Steam right now as we speak. Most of the games I play are available on Steam in some form or another. 
sometimes on itch.io, sometimes they are a betas or playtest. But yeah, most of the things I play are available in some form or another upon the Steams. There's still one more unit left. There's number nine. But yeah, this is a pretty interesting look at this game. I think it's showing everything. Obviously, there's a little bit more to go, but that's about it. And then, yeah, we're done. I imagine when the full version comes out, there'll be a lot more content. Because obviously, right now, there is only so much we can talk about. The movement is great, the sound is great, the animations are great. Again, I would definitely like to see slower animations on the combat, or at least not a sudden pull back to your units, but that's pretty major. The soundtrack is awesome. The soundtrack is absolutely amazing. And the actual weapon design is pretty cool too. And there we go. More money for the horde. Machines have taken over. No toaster will be getting past us. I've seen what happens with talky toaster talkies. And there we go. That is Ignited Steel. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed that. Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. Link in the description to the demo in the full page. This is of course a demo. And yeah. I've enjoyed that an awful lot more than I expected. What's everyone's opinion on that game? That game was pretty interesting, I 